talking ACC schedules with Mike McDaniel from uh, inside the ACC, Gobbler Country, and also in season doing uh, pregame and postgame with uh, ESPN Blacksburg on uh, the Virginia Tech Hokies games. What I do like about um, Florida's state schedule this year is the Boise State opener. That should be an intriguing game. And also as they close against Florida, uh, the typical rivalry matchup. I like that uh, number of teams in the ACC, i.e. Florida State and Clemson, also uh, some some other teams, Georgia Tech, in fact, of course, and Louisville play the, the big game against the SEC. Therefore, they typically go out and schedule somebody else. So it gives us two strong power five matchups or a strong, in this case, group of five matchup against uh, Boise State. Boise State will be a tough game in the opener. Um, we'll see what Florida State has at quarterback, uh, what they'll be. DeAndre Francois is returning. James Blackman looks like he's transferring out of the program. So, I mean, Florida State, they got to get some consistency at quarterback. They have to get consistency on their offensive line. Their defense needs to be better. Uh, you know, Florida State just needs to be better across the board. And I think Willie Taggart will have that thing moving in a better direction in year two. At least the fans are hoping so. That's a really intriguing opener with Boise State. You bring up a good point with their out of conference rivalry game at the end of the year and how that you know, the implications that that has on the rest of your schedule. But um, Boise State in the neutral site game in Jacksonville in the opener, you got Louisiana Monroe at Virginia, home against Louisville. Um, watch out for that Virginia game on the road. That could be a little bit tricky. Um, you know, getting Louisville at home and getting NC State at home in weeks four and five, those are your two tougher, outside of Clemson, of course, uh, two of your tougher Atlantic uh, division matchups. Um, and, and you're getting them in September and getting them out of the way. I, I think if, you know, Florida State's able to be like, you know, four and one after September, I think it's going to say a lot about the rest of the season. So they go into the week six bye week, which is a common theme because a lot of ACC teams are off in week six of the year. Um, then they go on the road to Clemson. So you got two weeks to prepare for the toughest team on your schedule, Clemson. That's the good news. The bad news is you're still playing Clemson. So uh, I, I don't love Florida State's chances in that game. Surprise, surprise. Then they're on the road at Wake Forest, home against Syracuse, home against Miami at BC, Alabama State at home, and then a bye week before they go on the road to Florida to finish out the year. Florida should be pretty good next season. This is a tough schedule. Mark, it is. And I'm not sure how capable Florida State will be next year. I'm in show me mode with the Seminoles. Believe it when I see it, that they're back or they're heading in a better direction. They should get back to a bowl game, I would think. I mean, Louisiana Monroe and Alabama State, um, those are two wins there. And then outside of that, you know, you get three of your tougher division games at home. So you got Syracuse, NC State, Louisville all at home. Um, Boise State, while tough, I think is is winnable in the opener. Uh, and, and that's a signature win if you're able to get that thing done um, in, in that neutral site game in the first week of the year. And that should give them, you know, if they're able to get past Boise State, I think that springboards them, gives them some momentum uh, to carry well, them through the first month of the year. So we'll see what happens. 